Would you believe it if I told you that Burn topped a 186-man tournament in the OCG? I think it's super interesting, honestly. Make sure you guys smash your loving crap out, subscribe button, so you don't miss out. More excellent OCG Thursday, baby. So the first list we have up for you guys today is the Abyss. Uh, so this is basically what Abyss Orcus looks like in the OCG. I wanted to show this because, honestly, getting different aspects and things, um, interactions that you can do with Orcus definitely makes me a little bit happier in terms of, like, metagame progression and things like that. So, and besides, uh, you know, any deck that can make Dingrisu and all the cool stuff like that, it's definitely interesting. So we have one copy of Aleph, Dusk of the Abyss. We have one copy of Amulizia, Queen of the Abyss. So these are going to be our two big ones. We're not playing the super looking snake guy that was the cover card. One copy of Armageddon Knight because essentially one card starter for full combo. Must be nice to have Harpoor. We have triple copies of Astral Blossom, Enjoy a Spring. One copy of Curse, Dawn of the Abyss. Two copies of Ghost Ball in the Haunted Mansion. One copy of Grisu, the Orcust Mech Knight. Two copies of Maxi. Of course, we have to have the draw power of the universe. Two copies of Nibiru. And then we have triple copies of Nihil and triple copies of Null here. Um, and then our little Orcus package of one symbol, one copy of Harpoor, one Orcus Nightmare, and one copy of the World One. Wrapping up your monster lineup here. Do keep in mind that we are only playing the one copy of the Grisu. This kind of gives us more room to kind of round things out. If anything, our Orcus package is just truthfully like kind of a, a six card package in here because you know the crescendo is just in here so it's and of course the battles of seven so it's just a nice little backbone to allow us to carry through and execute metagame plays we have two copies of call by the grave triple copies of cross out designator one foolish burial one babble triple copies of the snake lily triple copies of the snake rain so snake rain gives you auto access to a discard outlet so you can drop any one of your combo pieces into the graveyard so that you can kind of start doing your thing plus you get to mill off four other dudes from your deck which is not a bad thing whatsoever so discard outlet it, it's it's really cool like what synergy you can get with this because like i said just one one little piece here gives you essential full combo and you can gas it to the floor and go, go, go. Traps, one single imperm. Remember, things get really sketchy because of cross out. One orchestrated crescendo and one copy of the Vanity's Emptiness wrapping up. Ah, a pretty interesting take for the main deck here, honestly. Down here in the extract, we have one Union Carrier, one Lungrisu, one copy of Nightmare Unicorn, one Nightmare Phoenix, one copy of IP, one copy of Galtea, one copy of the Access Machine. And then, of course, we have one Utopic Future and one Utopic Future F Zero. <laughs> so glad we could abuse these. Two copies of King of the Feralum. Just slap two level fours together and get your next Rota. We play one copy of the Ga 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 Magician. Need to turn from this card target when exceed monster giver, except for Ga 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 Magician. It's about something about its effects negated. Hmm. Uh, so, it means we just use this. To revive our uh, King of the Feral Imps. Then we can just climb on into F0, by the way. Yeah, that, that's an actual thing that you can do. It's pretty cute. We have one copy of Zeus and two copies of Dingrisu. So, deck here we have triple copies of Artifact Lancia, one Panker Tops, one Maxi, two copies of Forbidden Droplet, one Harpy's Feather Duster, one Lightning Storm, two copies of Twin Twister, two copies of Dimensional Barrier, one Imperial Order. And one copy of Red Reboot, wrapping up Abyss Orcast. Like I said, this is, all things considered, this is actually a really cool idea. And I actually hope some time in the near future that maybe we can adapt something cool like this. All right. I was wrong on the total number of people for this event. It was 183. Oh, all right. So this is the burn strategy that ended up smashing through. And I think taking a lot of people by surprise. Um, topping a 183-man event is nothing short of, like, a miracle for a deck like this. Um, keep in mind that, yes, this is triple self-destruction button and triple wall revealing light here. Okay. I'm, must be nice. Look at this. The OCG gets to fully abuse this. He did not side these in at all, according to the report. 
uh, that I was reading. But if you could, all right, whew, you would. By the way, this whole deck just dies the one feather duster from what we were reading about in the comment section from people. It's like, why, why would you play this deck? I, I get it, man. But, like, this is a burn deck that can be adapted to the TCG besides, like, you know, this. So it's kind of interesting. So we have triple copies of Battle Fader. Deny the opponent the battle phase. One copy of Pinker Tops. Triple copies of Lava Golem. Then we have two copies of Send Ion here. Mr. Send Ion, if you have battle phase that have attacked, paying your opponent for 2,000. All right, so, and plus, he gets to stick around to the next battle phase. Uh, we have one copy of Sky Striker Ace Ray. Hey, so, uh, you just slap your one Mystic Mine on the table, make Hayate and attack directly. It's so freaking dumb. We have triple copies of Swift Scarecrow, one Freeze Bell, two copies of Glass Bell, triple copies of Ice Bell, and one copy of Snow Bell. And then we have one Mystic Mine, one copy of One Day of Peace, triple copies of Pot of Desires, one Hornet Drones, and we're getting booby game soon. So during damage calculation, if a monster battles, you take no damage from the battle. If a set card is destroyed by an opponent's card effect instead of the grave, you can target up to two normal trap cards in your graveyard, except for booby trap or booby game, and set them to your field. They can be activated this turn. Huh. So I can just reset my <laughs> evenly matched, all this other fun stuff. Like, this is really good. Triple copies ping my opponent for a lot of damage. One evenly matched. One Gravedigger's Trap Hole, two Magic Cylinder. I actually just believe that this man won strictly off of this card existing. We have one Ring of Destruction, triple copies of Secret Blast, and two copies of Waking the Dragon. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Zeke, one Kagari, two copies of Hayate, one Anima, one Boral End, Ultimate Falcon, Winter Bell, Diamond Bell, adding Mr. Pegasus, and then the Star Mine. So you can only special summon Star Mine once per turn. And Skarden's owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's attack or card effect, take 2,000 damage, and then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. If a monster in this card's adjacent monster zone is destroyed by an opponent's attack, destroy this card, and if you do, take 2,000 damage, and then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent. So this is just a free 2k burn on a level 4 synchro. Oh, that's, uh, that gets real good real quick. We have one Chambara, one Crystal Wing, one copy of Hama, and one copy of The Last Warrior. And inside deck here is, of course, triple maxi, triple chicken game, triple upstart, triple self-destruction button, triple copies of uh, Wall of Revealing Light. Interesting, OCG. I see you. I, I definitely, I think this this whole little concept is big joke. Uh, all right, and then last but not least here, we have some red eyes. This is actual red eyes, by the way. Keep that in mind. Yes, we are playing this. So we have one copy of a Absol Rapture Dragon, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of Black Metal Dragon, one copy of Magna Rocket, two Max C, one Red Ice Darkness Metal, one Rocket Recharger, one Rocket Synchron, two Rocket Tracer, and we have one Samsara Dragon. So this card is treated as two tributes for a tribute summon of a Dragon Monster. Banish this card from Graveyard, target one level five or higher Dragon Monster Graveyard and add it to your hand, and then immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon it. Oh, absolutely. We have two Speed Burst Dragon and two Red Eyes Black Dragon. Then we have one Boot Sector, two Called By, triple copies of Cross Out, one Dragon Ravine, two copies of Yield Dragon Shrine, one Foolish Barrel, one Monster Reborn, one One for One, two Quick Launch, two Red Ice Fusion. Ah, uh, yes. I see where this is going. We're actually making this guy. By the way, level six Dragon. All right. Two World Legacy Guard Dragon, one Succession, and one Red Eyes Burn. All right, and then we have two Striker Dragon, one Verte, one Unicorn, two copies of Heavenly Spheres, Pisty, Romulus, uh, Deligerous, Boral End, Access Code, a Tom with Beals, uh, Mr. Boral Load, and one Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Side deck here is two Lancia, one Pankertops, two Nibiru, two Cosmic Cyclone, two Droplet, one Feather Duster, two Lightning Storm, two Imperial Order, or excuse me, two infinite impermanence, and one copy red reboot here. Wrapping up this chunk of OCG deck profiles for everybody. Definitely some more rather interesting stuff this week. I think the burn deck definitely takes the cake in terms of just straight innovation and just cool concepts. So guys, what do you think about everything that's come out of today's video? Smash the everything crap out, subscribe button. Make sure you guys leave a comment down below. I love reading comments in these style of decks. And well, I'll see you beautiful faces back later on the day for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. 
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanQuil40 for all of your Cartwright Vanguard content brought to you by MQuil40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcoolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.